Hi everyone, welcome to the Sonic & Knuckles Ask the Cast special. Today we'll be answering some of your questions. I'm Sonic, and these are... my co-hosts. Well hey, how's it going everybody? Wait, I'm a co-host? Anyway, I'm Knuckles the Echidna. Yes, yes, um, hello, I am the real star of the show, Dr. Eggman. I know that they haven't changed the title yet, but uh, my lawyers are still working on that. And I have with me my own little assistant slash executive producer, Hello, everyone. I'm Egg Boy. Jeez, anyone can be an executive producer these days, huh? Yes, they can. Wait, what's an executive producer? Mm, and, uh, don't worry yourself about it. Anyway, let's go ahead and start with these questions. It's like a stack of like 200 cue cards here, so we're just going to have to pick our favorite ones. Um, this first one is for the little blue rat over there. Um, a quaint STH fan on Twitter asks, Hi, Sonic. What's the best thing about living with Knuckles? Well, I don't know if there's any best part of living with Knuckles. I guess I can ring off the most tolerable parts of living with Knuckles. He, uh, puts the milk away. Uh, he knows how to stay quiet after 10 p.m. Oh, and he limits destroying the apartment to once a month, which is also really nice on the damage deposit. I don't know what any of that means, but that's so sweet of you. Alright, so the next one I got here is Two Knuckles. Fun and Lala on YouTube asks, What's your favorite thing about me? My favorite thing about Sonic? Ooh. Well, I mean, I really like that he's blue. Um, I especially like that he's really fast. I mean, he's really fun to talk to, I guess, when we're talking. I mean, he kind of puts himself on the other end of the couch and he gets kind of grumpy. But, I mean, he's... He's still, he's still nice. I, I like, I like living with him. He's cool. Well, that is just the most complex and thought-provoking friendship I've ever heard about. Thanks, I wrote it myself. By the way, first off, you, you remember, the, remember that big gem? Uh, never mind, you probably forgot already. Uh, Willard from YouTube asks, did you ever get to see Buzz Lightyear? Uh, yeah, I actually did see Buzz Lightyear. He was really nice. But he had something weird about him. You see, his eyes looked very red, and he was very, you know, wacky and kind of out of it. I didn't understand. I mean, I saw some smoke come in from his mouth, too. Uh, should I be concerned about that, or... I don't know. Well, okay, let me see. Oh, 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 oh this ought to be interesting. So, Sonic, Blue from Discord asks, Does anything scare you? Of course, man. Everyone's scared of something. Like, take me, for example. Uh, I run because if I ever stop going fast, then suddenly my life has no meaning. Then, what am I? I'm just some guy who lives in an apartment with this crazy red man-child of an echidna who destroys his well-being every single waking moment of his entire life. And I said he put the milk away, and that's about the only good thing I can name about him. And then I have this crazy other man-child with a sock puppet friend that talks about Taco Bell and all this other stuff, and he just ruins my life! Wow. You are a complete basket case. It's okay, Sonic. I can, I can, I can totally relate with you. Alrighty. Dupree Draws on Twitter asks, What was Eggman's worst evil plan? This should be good. Hmm, well... I don't know, I don't usually like to think of my failures. I like to think that the more I think of my failures, the more it makes me feel depressed and binge on all the Ben and Jerry's in my fridge. So I rather focus on the successes in my life. And ergo, I think by that statistically So wait, logical... your fridge never has Ben and Jerry's in it, so like, how much Ben and Jerry's do you actually go through on a daily basis? Oh, well that's very simple. It's Nanya, as in Nanya business. Oh, that's a lot of business. Oh, the question. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, worst evil plan. Okay, well, I mean, I wasn't keeping track, so um, I'm going to say the one where you do evil stuff. So it's unanimously agreed that I have no failures. Well done. Moving on. Here's your card. A actually, I'd like to interject. I think he means uh, all your evil plans. So basically, all of your plans are failures. It's actually very broad and insightful from you, Knuckles. I'm impressed. To Sonic. Willard on YouTube is asking, do you first pour the milk or the cereal? Oh, that's, that's a really weird one. I don't know about that one. That is, uh, well, Willard, there are two types of people in this world. People who pour the milk on after the cereal, and those who are wrong. So, I think that tells you exactly where he stands on that. 
I've been doing it all wrong this whole time, man. Dang it. Well, it would probably help if you put it in a bowl first. What's a bowl? Ugh. Alright. Um, let's see what it says here. Okay. Read reviews on Twitter ask, Dear Sonic, Knuckles, Eggman, and Eggboy, since it's spooky season, what costume, if any, are you planning on wearing this year for Halloween? Are you gonna wear one at all? I was a fox last year for work and need some ideas. Oh, for this, I got a good one. Um, I'm just gonna go as myself, but the first version of my movie self, because that scares the crap out of literally everyone on the internet. I have a really, really cool costume idea. I was thinking of being Chicken Little from the Disney movie. I think that'd be really cool and really fun. You know, everyone would not laugh at me at all. As for me, I don't know if I have any particular costume plans for Halloween. Like, I'm gonna be frank with you, Halloween has been starting to lose its appeal for me for the past couple of years. Especially since every Halloween, I always do the exact same thing. Scare off trick-or-treaters to steal their candy. Try to create some kind of Halloween-themed death machine that Sonic always thwarts. Like, after a while, you just kind of start to get sick of the holiday, you know what I mean? Sonic, Willard on YouTube asks, what are your thoughts on Silver the Hedgehog? And what do you think about the theory that he's related to you and Amy? Who? Anyway, so Knuckles, here's one for you. Mountain Water on YouTube asks, what do you think is your IQ level? <laughs> <laughs> I'd say it's somewhere around 75. Oh no, you're being too generous. I'd say it's at least a 40. I I mean, it could be 41. We, we don't know. Nah, now, now, if we're being real here, I think Knuckles puts up a solid 69. That's a funny number. It sounds funny. Okay, we're going with that. His IQ is 69. Yes, yes. A anything to get this question wrapped up. Um, e Egg Boy, the bluest hedgehog on YouTube asks, What is the ritual of a victory poop? Well, it's a very complex and... Very meticulous ritual. Unfortunately, if I had to tell you what it is, I'm now required by court rules to kill you. Wow, is this like a fan club for pooping or something? I, I kind of want in, but I don't know if no, I want No, you, no, you don't, Knuckles. Trust me, you do not want any part of that. Oh, but it seems fun. No? What did I tell you about going on inappropriate parts of the internet, huh? We don't go there. I'm surprised you let on to begin with. Hey, I mean, sometimes he needs his Neopets fix. I can't say no. I like Neopets. They're so fluffy. To Knuckles, Mini YT15 on Twitter asks, What do you do in your spare time, besides annoying me? Um, well, let's see. I play video games, like, every, every hour I can, honestly, because it's fun. Um, I like eating. I like watching cartoons. I also like being Knuckles. I mean, who doesn't like being Knuckles? It's a fun thing to do. Unless you're not Knuckles. I'm not Knuckles? So, um, Julie on YouTube asks, How would you feel if you married Amy and had three kids? Well, if I married Amy and had three kids, I mean, I'd probably have to treat her like a queen. And then, you know, triplets born, throne awaits, and then I just give them all instruments and then I abandon them. And then we get a really bad TV series out of it. All right, they don't mind me. I'm just uh, texting all this to Amy, letting her know her true thoughts about you. And send. What the? Oh, great. Now I have 42 messages on my phone and, like, 12 unanswered calls. Oh, boy. Oh, young love is fun. Oh, man, I wish restraining orders worked for phones. True love. But, uh, well... As, as fascinating as this is to dwell on, I think that's actually the last of them. That and I think we were only regulated to answer so many of these, otherwise we'd be here for hours. That is perfectly fair. I mean, I mean I'm sure there were mountains of questions for me, but we just had to charity pick the best ones. But that's something we can dwell on for another time. But thank you again for joining, joining us for the first ever, if we're going to do more of these. I don't know what our plans are. I mean, we're still relatively early into the series. But this Q&A for the Eggman show featuring Sonic and Knuckles. Thank you all again for the questions. And look forward to the next episode coming out very soon. Wait a minute, the Eggman show featuring Sonic and Knuckles. Let, let, let's get something here, Mr. Secondary Character. 
I, I again, that you want to talk about that? You want to talk to my lawyer here? That's right. I will chew you up and spit you out. Oh, really? Because last time I checked, I'm my lawyer sure he is somebody have that you might be very familiar with, Eggman. Per- it's uh, this guy batch. called Omega. I, I'm and gonna have to, we're going to have to take that up. Anything with, we're gonna have that, to take that up with you have to say, you can say to him, and uh, he packs 50 caliber. 